Ngayon yung magsasabot naman tayo ng uh, um, pagkuha ng solutions ng mga polynomials gamit ang remainder theorem at saka factor root theorem. So sa problem number 1, kailangan daw natin gamitin yung remainder, uh, remainder theorem para ma-evaluate natin yung po polynomial given yung function at saka yung hahanapin natin. So sa problem number 1, kailangan daw natin hanapin si f of 2. At according sa uh, remainder theorem, ang pagkuha ng function ay kung ano yung remainder ng ating function ay siyang magiging uh, um, sagot doon sa hinahanap nating value ng f of x. And in this case, yung f of 2 yung hahanapin natin. So, una natin gagawin is titignan natin kung kompleto yung set ng polynomial natin. Meron tayong x cubed. So, ibig sabihin kailangan natin ng 4 terms. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 terms, polyno 4 terms yung polynomial natin. So, ibig sabihin, kompleto yung ating standard form ng ating uh, cubic function. So, to solve for uh, or to use the remainder theorem to find f of 2, kukunin lang natin yung ating value of x which is 2 at kukunin natin yung mga coefficients ng polynomial para gamitan natin ng synthetic division. So, yung pol um, coefficient ng ating function would be 1, negative 4, 5, at saka 3. So, gagamitin natin yung synthetic division para makuha natin si f of 2. At yung remainder na makukuha natin, yun yung magiging value ng ating f of 2. So, sa synthetic division, we bring down 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 is negative 4. 5 negative 4 is 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Equal to 5. So, ibig sabihin nun, ito yung ating remainder. So, yung ating f of 2 ay equal to 5. Which means, kapag sinubstitute natin yung value ng 5 or ng 2 dun sa ating function, ang magiging value niya ay equal to 5. So, yan yung remainder theorem. So, kung gagamitin natin siya sa problem number 3, hanapin natin si f of 2. Pero this time, mapapansin nyo, meron lang tayong 1, 2, 3 terms. So, ibig sabihin, hindi kompleto yung standard form natin kasi ang um, cubic function ay merong 4 terms. We have x cubed, we have x squared, we have x at saka yung ating constant. Yung x cubed natin, meron siyang coefficient ng 1. Yung x squared natin is wala, so siya ay 0. At yung x natin ay 6. At yung constant natin ay negative 7. So, yan yung magiging coefficient natin sa ating synthetic division. So, to get f of 2, gagamitin natin si 2 as our divisor. Kopyahin natin yung mga coefficient. At gagamitan natin ng synthetic division yung ating polynomial para makuha natin si f of 2 sa cubic function na ito. So, we have to bring down negative 1, negative 2, negative 4, and then 4, and we have negative 3. So, ang ating f of 2 for this function would be negative 3. So, yan yung paggamit ng synthetic division para sa pag... Uh, evaluate ng polynomial. Now, yung susunod nating set of question, hahanapin naman natin yung uh, possible, o yung root or roots ng ating polynomial ga gamit ang factor root theorem. Now, sa pagsagot ng problem na ito, ang una natin gagawin is kunin yung mga possible zeros or roots ng polynomial. So, sa pagkuha nun, gagamitin natin o kukunin natin yung coefficient ng ating uh, leading term, which is 1. at yung last term, which is 15. Ang factor ng 1 ay 1 at saka negative 1. At factor ng 15 ay 1, negative 1, um, 3, negative 3, 5, and negative 5. So, pagka kinuha natin yung mga unique factors ng 1 and 15, ang mga factors niya ay 1, negative 1, 3, negative 3, 5, and negative 5. At yan yung gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung mga roots ng polynomial using synthetic division. So, yung ating function ay x cubed plus 9x squared plus 23x plus 15. 
So, kompleto yung ating standard form kasi cubic function siya. Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So, sa pagkuha ng zeros niya, ang um, uunahin natin, pwede tayo, trial and error yung gagawin nating solution. So, pwede natin unahin si positive 1 and check if meron tayong uh, um, magiging 0 yung remainder ng ating function. So, positive 1 will have the coefficients of 1, 9, 23, and 15. At gagamitan natin ang synthetic division to check kung magiging 0 yung remainder niya. So, ang uh, unang quotient natin, 1 times 1 is 1, 9 minus 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, and then 10, and then 43, and then we have 43, and we have 58. So, 58 yung ating uh, remainder. So, ibig sabihin nun, hindi solution yung 1. So, let's go ahead and use negative 1. So, yung uh, method na ito ay trial and error. So, meron tayong negative 1. Try natin siya. Baka dito, magkaroon tayo ng 0 na remainder. So, we still have 1, 9, 23, and 15. So, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. We have 8. Negative 8. 23 minus 8 is 15. We have negative 15 and we have 0. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung negative 1 ay possible root ng ating polynomial. So, x is equal to 1 would be a possible root at since cubic function siya. So, hahanapin natin yung dalawa pang roots. At kapag ka, dalawa na lang yung hahanapin natin uh, roots ng polynomial, pwede na natin tong i-convert into quadratic equation and then by factoring or quadratic formula, pwede na natin makuha yung solution ng ating equation. So, ito ay magiging x squared, x, and then 15 equal to 0 kasi hanapin natin yung 0 ng function. So, kung meron tayong x squared plus 8x plus 15, at kukunin natin yung solution ng quadratic equation na ito, mapapansin nyo na yung um, quadratic equation natin ay factorable kasi meron tayong factors ng 5 na kapag in natin will be equal to 8. At yun would be positive um, I'm sorry, this is 15. So, 15, factors of 15 na magkakaroon tayo ng 8 when we add them up would be 5 times 3. So, 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 times 3 is 15. So, sila yung ating factors na hinahanap. So, using the zero product property, makukuha natin yung ating other zeros ng polynomial which is x plus 5 equals 0 or x equals negative 5. So, ito yung ating pangalawang solution at x plus 3 equals 0 at yung isa ay negative 3. So, ang mga solutions ng ating cubic function using the factor theorem would be x equals 1, negative 5, and negative 3. So, yung tatlong yan, ang roots, solutions, or yung point of intersection ng ating graph ng cubic function on the x-axis. Now, try naman natin yung susunod na problem. So, sa susunod na problem, tingnan natin kung kompleto yung ating polynomial. Meron tayong f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 13x squared minus 15x. At mapapansin nyo, um, fourth degree yung polynomial natin at meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. So, kulang tayo ng isang term at yun yung constant term. So, let's add 0 sa ating constant term. So, yung ating uh, unang gagawin is kunin yung mga possible roots nung x to the fourth at saka negative 15x kasi yung 0 natin, um, filler lang siya ng ating gap ng polynomial. So, yung mga possible zeros or factors ng 1 would be 1 and negative 1. At yung 15 or negative 15 would be or would still be 1, negative 1, um, 3, negative 3, 5, and negative 5. 
So, ang mga possible solutions na gagamitin natin would be 1, negative 1, 3, negative 3, 5, and negative 5. And since fourth degree yung polynomial natin, um, we're looking for po four possible values of our solutions. So, yung unang solution yan is for sure is x equal to 0 kasi yung constant natin ay 0. And makikita natin yan later on sa pagkuhan natin ng synthetic division. So, let's go ahead and try our first candidate, which is 1. So, try natin kung si 1 ay magbibigay sa atin ng remainder of 0. So, yung ating mga coefficients would be 1, 3, negative 13, negative 15, and 0. And by synthetic division, 1, 1 times 1, 4, 4, 4, negative 13, and 4 is negative 9, negative 9, this one is negative 24, and negative 24, so negative 24 pa rin siya, so ibig sabihin, hindi solution yung positive 1. So, punta naman tayo kay negative 1. So, 1, 3, negative 13, negative 15, and 0. So, using synthetic division, 1, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. This one is 2, negative 2, negative 15, 15, and 0. And then, pag minultiply natin to, it would still be 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung negative 1 ay isa sa mga roots ng polynomial. So, pwede natin gamitin yan like later on. So, dalawa na yung solution natin. Isa yung 0 at isa yung negative 1. At mapapansin nyo, 1, 2, and negative 15 tatlong terms na lang yung natitira sa synthetic division natin. So, pwede na natin siya i-convert into a quadratic equation. So, yung ating x squared, x at saka yung constant, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng x squared plus 2x minus 15. At kukunin natin yung solution niya. At mapapansin nyo na yung ating polynomial na x squared plus 2x minus 15 ay factorable quadratic equation. So, hindi na natin kailangan ng quadratic formula. So, by factoring, negative 15, positive 2. So, meron tayong positive at negative. At um, possible factors niya would be um, negative... 3 and positive 5 because negative 3 times positive 5 is negative 15 negative 3 plus 5 is equal to 2 so yan yung ating factor so by zero product property we'll have x plus 5 equals 0 x minus 3 equal to 0 minus 5 so x is negative 5 at saka plus 3 so, x is equal to 3. So, yung ating mga zeros gamit ang synthetic division would be negative 1 using synthetic division. So, yung 0 kasi, yan yung ating uh, failure kanina sa constant term. At meron tayong negative 5 at saka positive 3 as the solutions of our polynomial. So, yan yung pagkuha ng uh, um, solutions ng polynomial gamit ang remainder theorem at saka uh, factor theorem. At kung may natutunan kayo dito sa video na ipinakita ko, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, sana mas matulungan ko pa kayo sa mga darating ko pa mga videos. Thank you!